everyone, it's me, Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I want you to like, follow, and share. And make sure to punch that subscribe button. So today we will be talking about Sam, the story Samuel. So let's get on to the lesson. So we're going to talk about Samuel. So let me get the card. Okay, the Bible tells us about a lady named Hannah. Hannah and her husband loved each another very, very much. But one thing made that thing made Hannah very sad. Why are you so sad? Hannah's husband asked. I'm sad because I don't have any children, Hannah said. Hannah wanted a baby. I would too. Soon it was time for Hannah and her husband to go to God's house, which is a church. Today we call God's house for church. H Hannah and her husband had to walk a long way to get there. We use cars these days, so we don't have to walk. When they arrived at God's house, Hannah found a quiet place where she could pray. She closed her eyes, folded her hands, and bowed her head, as you see on the photo. Hannah began to pray, but she didn't talk out loud. God couldn't hear her thoughts. Even though she did not speak a word, Hannah began to cry. Dear God, if it would please you, I would really like to have a baby boy, she prayed. That's okay if I have a baby boy, because I would still be happy to have a child. Eli, the special minister in God's house, was watching Hannah. Point to Eli. So this is Eli. Eli thought there was something wrong with her. Are you all right? Eli asked. Yes, Hannah answered. I was just praying to God. I was asking God to give me a baby boy. Eli had happy news for Hannah. Eli told her, God has heard your prayer. And Hannah was so excited. So. So why was Hannah so sad? Because she wanted a baby. Where did Hannah and her husband go? To God's house. What did Hannah do in God's house? She prayed. What did she ask God for? A son. So let me get the next picture ready for y'all, and I will see you in one second. So we are back, and here is the next door. Hannah, Hannah and her husband went to God's house. Hannah found a quiet place to pray and talk to God. Dear God, Hannah prayed, If it would please you, I would really like a baby boy, Eli. Eli was a boy that I pointed to over here. The minister in God's house told Hannah that God had heard her prayer. Hannah was glad to hear that God had heard her prayer. She went back home and waited to see how God would answer her prayer. One day, Hannah knew the answer. She told her husband, we're going to have a baby. Hannah knew God had heard her prayer. Hannah waited and finally her baby was born. So as you can see in the middle, there is the baby, which is Samuel. She told her husband, we are going to have a baby. Hannah knew God had heard her prayer. Hannah waited and finally her baby boy was born. God had answered Hannah's prayer. God gave her a baby boy. I will name my son Samuel, Hannah said. Hannah loved Samuel and taught him about God. I'm sure Hannah told him that God answered prayer. So, you're going to try to find the blanket of little Samuel. Where is his blanket? Can you find it in this picture? If you are correct and you pointed right here, you are correct. So, that is that one. So, I will see you all in one second. 
Okay, so we're gonna, that was the end of the story about Samuel. So we're going to talk about another lesson that's a Bible for Anthony. So, Anthony sat in Daddy's lap. So, so Anthony was looking in. Okay, so I accidentally got the wrong card, so that's okay. Because we always make mistakes. Okay, guys, so I accidentally did the wrong thing. For that's a, for another secret lesson that y'all did not know. So we're gonna sing the Old Testament books with a special guest, and his name is Mr. Flipper. Flipper, flipper, flopper. So let's go ahead and sing the Old Testament. Okay. So let's sing it, and y'all can sing along. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Number two, the Romany, Joshua, Judges, with First and Second Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Limitations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephariah, Haggai, Zechariah, and the last book, Malachi. So that is the Old Testament books. So we're going to get back to the story about Samuel. So let's get on to Samuel in one second. So we are back to the story about Samuel. We were doing a little Mr. Flipper Fox song. I really wanted to sing the Old Testament. So let's get started to Samuel Helps Eli. Samuel, you are not a baby anymore, Hannah said. You are getting to be a big boy. It was time to make a long trip to God's house. Samuel was big enough to go with his daddy and mommy. Step, 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 the walk to God's house. When they got here, there, Hannah saw Eli, the special ministry. So here's the picture. And this is Eli. And, whoo. So this is Eli. This is Samuel. And this is Hannah. So they're at the church. Eli, Hannah said, do you remember me? I'm the lady who prayed for a baby boy. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I remember you, Eli said. This is my boy, Hannah told Eli. His name is Samuel. Samuel will stay here at God's house and help you. Eli, this pleased Eli. He was getting old. He couldn't use a helper. Samuel knew that helping Eli was what his mother wanted him to do. Samuel also knew this would please God. I will come to see you, Hannah said. Hannah told Samuel, Samuel served the Lord by helping Eli. Okay, let's move on to number four. Lesson four. Okay, we're on to this. Here's Samuel when he's a little older, and here's Hannah. Hannah had asked God for a baby boy. God answered her prayer and gave her, a, gave her Samuel. Hannah was so thankful that God had answered her prayer. Now Samuel lived in God's house and helped old Eli, a special ministry. So here's Samuel. Samuel, that's a bright orange. Okay. Samuel was such a good helper every day. He opened the doors of God's house so people could come in. He swept the floor, came with Eli, called 
and brought Eli food and water. Samuel didn't went off to play. He did, he did what Eli told, told him to do. Now it was time for Samuel's mommy and daddy to visit God's house. Hannah was so glad to see her son. My Samuel, said Anna, you have really grown. I have a present for you. Anna gave Samuel a new coat she had made for him. So this is his new coat. Hannah, it was just the right size for a growing boy. Thank you, Mother, for my new coat, said Samuel. Samuel is such a good helper, Eli said. Everyone liked him. Hannah was a good mother to Samuel, and she was happy to know that Samuel was a good helper in God's house. So that is the story about Samuel, and if you all like that, I want you to hit that subscribe button, and maybe if we get enough views, maybe I will do a part two, or I probably will, because I love telling stories. So, if you like that, I want you to give me a huge thumbs up, and maybe the next story, I will have a special guest. Well, anyways, I hope y'all had a great day and everything else, and I will see y'all on my next video. Bye-bye!